Hi, Imran here. Can't get to the phone right now. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Please tell me you found Imran. Imran's not posted anything online since he left home. No one's seen him. Yeah, and it's radio silence on his group chats. I asked Juliet and Serena. The clinic searched the grounds and they're checking CCTV. Oh, I can't bear the idea of my boy being out there in the cold. Well, maybe he's already on his way home. You know, if he's on a train, then it might be delayed due to engineering works. I I'll have a look online now. The same must have got the word out of the mosque by now. Call him. I know that look. You haven't told Zane, have you? He's a busy man. He's stressed out. Well, how do you think he's going to feel when he hears his stepson's missing? I've got enough to worry about right now without all these irrelevant questions. Jack, go back out. Take the car and retrace the route to the clinic, will you? OK. Right, and I'll search the village again, yeah? OK. What about us then, Mum? We're going to go to the police. Imran's missing. Mum took him to this clinic in Hertfordshire, but he did a runner. I know we're meant to wait 24 hours. No, that's a myth. OK, you don't know where he is and you're worried about his welfare? Yeah. Then report it. Look, I'll put you in contact with Hertfordshire Constabulary. Come on. Yes. What if it's too late? <laughs> I love and love. Take me home. I think it's time for us to get you checked over at the hospital, don't you? No. No, I'm... I'm fine. Just... just here. Tell me. What worries you most? Because I don't think it's money or fear of failure. Control. It's what I learned in my one and only therapy session at the clinic. This illness, it's about control. And once they, uh, once they fix me and I, start eating and regaining weight, then I, I, I lose the one thing in my life I have control over. And I can't do it, Zane. I can't. 